Hey, welcome back guys. Welcome to Canadian Quarters Review. I'm Mark. Today we're at Valley Motorsports in West Kelowna, BC, Canada. And we're going to be checking out another favorite workhorse, a 2021 Kawasaki Mule SX. You're going to want to stick around. Okay, so this guy is going to be a 401cc air-cooled four-stroke overhead valve single piston engine. Its compression is going to be 8.6 to 1. It is a fuel injection system. The ignition is a battery and coil. It's got electric start. It's going to have a two-speed automatic transmission, forward and reverse, in your final drive. This is Gear selectable, two wheel drive, four wheel drive with the dual mode differential. So, this guy will have a ladder frame from tubular steel. It's got a front independent suspension with a McPherson strut and 78 millimeters or 3.1 inches of wheel travel. The rear is going to be a unit swing axle with 79 millimeters or 3.1 inches of wheel travel. Your steering is rack and pinion and your rake is 9 degrees or 45 millimeters. Your front tires are going to be 24 by 9 by 10 and the rear tires are 24 by 11 by 10. You got dual hydraulic drums for the front and dual hydraulic drums for the rear. And you have a mechanical parking brake on the rear wheels. So your turning radius is going to be 3.3 meters or 10.8 feet. Your cargo bed dimensions are going to be 905 by 1040 by 245 millimeters or 35 inches by 40 inches by 9.6 inches. Your cargo bed capacity is going to be 181 kilograms or 400 pounds. You've got seating capacity for two. Your vehicle load capacity is going to be 415 kilograms or 915 pounds. And your towing capacity is 500 kilograms or 1100 pounds. It will come with two halogen headlights on the front. I do recommend if you're going to do any nighttime stuff with this that you're going to want to change those halogens for LED light bulbs. And it's got a pretty simplistic instrumentation panel, which you'll see in a minute. Here's inside the cab, so you got a bench seat that'll definitely fit too. Here's your locking diff. And if I remember right, that is for the rear. Got a few dummy lights. There's your hour meter. Your switch for your lights. And your gear shifter. Again, they're fully automatic, so if you can drive a car, you can drive one of these. And there's your four-wheel drive switch. You got plenty of leg room. I like the headache rack that it comes with. I would definitely recommend putting a roof on it as well. Keep you out of the, somewhat out of the elements. It does have an emergency brake. And it's a metal box is great. Simplistic handles for the tailgate which is good. Just a single light on the back. It's not even not even a trailer hitch. You can tow with it apparently but there's no trailer hitch. What's up with that Kawasaki? This is where you're gonna find your fuel tank. And in the back of the seat here, see the clasp? that grab your handle and up she goes here's a look at the engine oops you got a few cup holders one on either side you got your 12 volt power supply another glove box which is good she feels like sturdy plastic too, which is nice. Got an old crap handle. 
It will have a 36 month warranty from Kawasaki Canada. So it'll give you a spot to put a winch on the front. So once again, keep in mind this machine is really geared to be a workhorse. But even Fisher's ATV World just did a, a review on a similar product from Kawasaki and they drove the crap out of it for a year working around their farm and property and stuff like that and the thing just keeps going they were very happy with the machine it was just the toughest workhorse they've ever seen and they spoke very highly of it so you're getting something that's built extremely strong here and it's going to do the job for you okay let's see what's under the front hood here shall we got a massive storage space that's very cool You really are getting a true workhorse when you go with Kawasaki. This could still take you out on the trail, maybe do some hunting or something, but it's just not going to perform as well as, you know, maybe one of these bad boys or, or whatnot. But it's still somewhat versatile. So come and check these out at Valley Motorsports in uh, West Kelowna, BC, Canada. Tell them that Mark from Canadian Quarters Review sent you. They'll take excellent care of you. And this will about wrap up another episode. So thank you guys so much for checking this out. And do me a favor, will you? Email these guys and let them know you saw their video on my channel. Let's show these guys that this system really does work. Just, just say hi. You don't have to inquire about anything. Just say, hey, I saw a video of your stuff. The videos are great if you enjoyed them. And, and let's show these guys that this system really does work. But thank you so much for all your support. Your donations are awesome. Your subscriptions are awesome. Please, if you haven't done it already, hit like and subscribe. Help me get my name out there and grow even bigger than I am. But thank you again for everything, guys. And we'll check you guys out on the next one.